In case the actions of Wizards of the Coast lately have not been clear enough, including the banning of certain cards from Magic the Gathering because they were deemed to be quote-unquote racist, allow me to spell it out for you. Magic the Gathering is an inclusive game. It is for everyone. Unless you have an opinion of your own. In which case, you will be removed. And the latest victim of the purge is freelancing fantasy artist Teresa Nielsen. Now, you may ask yourself, did she write some defamatory statement? Is she a bigot or a homophobe? Did she say something horrible? Is she transphobic? Well, she was involved in a controversy when one of the Mythic Championship winners, the first non-binary player to win a major tournament, why that's important, I don't know, I thought the game was for everyone, so it shouldn't matter who wins, but I digress, took some cards with art from Mrs. Nielsen, who were signed, by the way, and decided to deface them. Wizards asked the player to remove these cards, and of course that player raised a stink on, you guessed it, Twitter. Of course she was labeled transphobic and many other things, and one of her greatest crimes? Well, she had the audacity to follow people on Twitter that have different viewpoints. Yes, that is her crime. Viewpoints and having a viewpoint of her own. Now, this is something that she wrote herself. Being excommunicated from a community and ostracized by family for following my convictions is not new to me. Nielsen wrote, The magic community has blessed me and taught me in a myriad of ways in the past 25 years. I embrace the fact that many different viewpoints can, do, and should coexist. In these stressful times, it is my intent to navigate in harmony with my core values, beauty, compassion, love, to the best of my abilities, without any need or desire to stifle, censor, or demean another for differently held viewpoints. What a monster, am I right? Oh, and she also wrote, Just so nothing I have expressed thus far can possibly be misunderstood for the record. I support human rights, trans rights, gay rights, as well as religious freedom and the sacredness of life in all forms. Now, we all know from experience by this point that apologizing or stating that you're not the thing that you're being blamed to be doesn't help. And so wizards have completely ended their relationship with her. And not only will they not be hiring her in the future, they will also not be reprinting cards with her art. So effectively erasing her. I'd like to draw your attention to this card now. It's called Force of Will. No, I'm not about to give you a lesson in Magic the Gathering. I've chosen this card for a very specific reason. It is a card drawn by her, and it appeared in the Magic the Gathering set called Alliances. From 1996. This woman has been working for this card game as a freelance artist for almost 30 years. She has produced some of the most beautiful artwork in Magic the Gathering. And now all of that is going to be erased because someone complained on Twitter and because she has her own viewpoints. This is disgusting, pathetic, and horrific all at the same time. The thought that someone can just go on Twitter, complain, and end someone's career. I have no words to describe the lack of backbone in these companies. To throw people who have been loyal to them for decades under the bus like that. Oh, and you want to hear the cherry on top? Teresa is gay. She's a lesbian. She's supposed to be part of one of the groups that these people claim to stand for. Yet she was taken and thrown out for the crime of following the wrong people on Twitter and having her own opinion. This is the hypocrisy of wizards. This is how much they care. So again, Wizards of the Coast is a very inclusive company and Magic the Gathering is a very inclusive game unless... You don't think exactly like they do. I am never going to pick up another Magic the Gathering product again in my life. And I can go on, but I will simply wrap this up by saying that I am absolutely disgusted. Regardless, I wish Mrs. Nielsen all the best, and I hope that some company with an eye for quality work scoops her up and gives her a lot of projects to be on. Because her art is, for lack of a better word, simply fantastic. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll see you around. Have a good one. Diverse and inclusive, my ass.